Hey everybody, it's me. It's your good buddy Thorn. Today we're back here in our, um, well, we're back here in our creative world. You can see the chapel behind me. We're going to start building the uh, actual chapter house. And I have a couple ideas. And just thought I'd share a little bit of a build with you in planning process, okay? Alright, hey, let's go. One, two, three. Woohoo! Hey, mukwadi song ili, vakna di kuide li gidrenge, di haire nichen pa haves kri, for di ev soveti for lenge. Eastern side over here, you can see the. Um, the, the hospital, the uh, right across over there, but we're looking at building the chapter house on this corner. It'll tie into everything on this side, and if you remember from watching the other day, we actually had a little bit of a creek right here, river, what have you, ties into the lake. So the concept is to kind of have a building that's going to mirror this building, um, built in a L kind of wraps around over here and so what that means is a lot of this needs to be extended out which is fine but um, we're gonna go kind of with the same size build and it's gonna be a little different than this so what we immediately start to do is think about where this is gonna wrap around so this wraps around all the way to about here. All right, let's grab some of this. Get rid of that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. So let's just kind of zoom back a little bit. Not that far. So that's about, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then two, three, four, five. Need some of this. Let's bring this around. And then these tiles. I think if we bring this around, let's take a look here. About oh, this could be really cool. Okay, so right about here. We start building the arched bridge into um, the uh, river, lake, what have you, which would make a really cool underground look. So we'll bring this across all the way to about right here where this drops off. Gives us a really good kind of okay, yeah. So let's just throw this stuff in here real quick. This is just placeholders. No one using real blocks, but uh, kind of want to get a view for it. So we've got a bit of terraforming to do earthwise. Maybe these two. So that ties into this nice little tunnel here too. We can kind of bring this across. But, um, we're going to bring that up to here. Yeah, that'll work pretty good. Are you guys right now? All right, this is just, I'm just thinking out loud. I kind of got a concept in my head where I want to go with this. 
Oh yeah, that would work. We'll put like a bridge across these two. And yeah. Alright, so that's that part. Now we want to have this come out. Um, so it ties in right at the edge. So we could leave all that there. But I'm thinking what I want to do is put it right about right here. Now this is going to be a pretty good side of terraforming platform. And we're just going to get a guess at where this is going to line up. Uh, a couple more. Um, right there. I thought I did quite a bit of terraforming earlier, but apparently no. <laughs> Sheep are going to be mad. Bring this across. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm not sure what I want to do with the interior yet, but anyhow, I know what I want to do. I'll show you a few pictures that I found of the chapter house, the Temple Chapter House in Spain, Espana. Um, Okay, I'm just going to this. Okay, so uh, jump up and take a look at what we got. So we're going to add this to our build. And really, mm, no, I like that as a clip face. And we're going to have this be arched up. And another line here, so we don't forget. Um, so the other video that I did today, I started working on this last week, survival mode, because when I was up in Vermont, I got to play some um, vanilla Minecraft uh, with some of our LARP on a Borderland East guys. And I suddenly realized just how much I don't really know about um, survival mode. I mean, I watch it on YouTube quite a bit. I'm a big fan of Hermitcraft and all that, uh, which is kind of what got me into doing some of this stuff. But I don't really play survival that much. I do this. I really enjoy building. However, I did get started in survival on Conquest Reforged. And I talk about the first couple of days. I've only played about three days on level 20, which, like I said, I have no clue what that means. That's good. Maybe that is good. I Probably not for two, three days. Um, and I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so watch that vid if you get some comments or suggestions about how to make me a better YouTuber. Or not YouTuber, but a survival Minecrafter. Um, let me know, because, oh god, I don't, now, vanilla Minecraft, there's, there's little books and stuff out there that help you, guidebooks, okay, you should do this, I am a, I am a, a redstone idiot, so I have a lot of redstone, don't know what to do with it, and, um, so, all right, so that's, jumping back into this, this is our pathway around, so we're going to add five blocks here to one, two, three, four, five. So I'm sorry, I was thinking. Um, and I think we'll probably add, there's two there already. Let's throw a third one in for this. So there's our dimensions, basically, of th this part of the L, and it kind of wraps itself around. Um, and we're going to do three all the way around. You don't want to watch this, too. 
But anyway, conquest survival mode. I uh, and I talk about it in another video. I spawn into a jungle biome, which everybody thinks is really, really cool. And I tried using it, and was like, "What in the hell? I can't see through it. I can't work through it. It lags my machine pretty bad." Which um, Jiminy just says, "Well, you do have a better machine." Well, yeah, probably. This is uh, this machine is maybe ten years old, uh, and it's been upgraded once through um, board number three. Who's that kind of computer geek guy? So okay, so there's there's what the L's gonna look like. There's gonna be an interior port here and here, so it's not gonna be that big. Oh, I'll project it way out over there. Oh, I do need to I know we need to have one more week before it gets too dark. So anyway. I um I'm still trying to figure out how to smelt bronze. Anybody knows how to smelt bronze in Conquest Reforged? Let me know. Uh, yeah, I think this is enough. Uh, yeah, I need to add a tree here as well. But getting back to the jungle biome, I could, I, I did, I dug, I did a lot of digging right at first. You're supposed to do that. You set up your. <laughs> You set up your yeah. Shut up, Sona. <coughs> I just fed the I fed the cat. I fed the cat. Oh. She was not she was not pleased when I was gone in Vermont. If you didn't see the other video, I was you know, I was gone for ten days. She had a she had her nurse is what it should be. She had her day sitter in with with she and Hobbs, <coughs> and they were fine. Uh, when I got home, the cats swore that they were abused and beaten and almost killed every single day, but uh, they're fine. Uh, let's bring this across. Just because, I don't know. People are... <coughs> I don't think so. Anyway, people are generally... Um, if they see something, see something wrong... They know it. Their brain might not, or they, their brain sees it. They might not know what's wrong, but they know that it's wrong. Um, see, then we'll run a secondary stair off of this into here, where Mr. Pig is. With it. And yeah, yeah, this all ties in. And then there'll be like a little arching bridge over here. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, we gotta go with. Don't want. We want, um, hmm. we need, no, we do not need more tequila. Did you hear the cat? No, you don't need tequila, but you're, you're, you're Siamese. You want soju? That's not Siamese either. That could be. I don't think so. She said, uh, let's see. Oh. We need stuff that we can't get off of that. We have to do a search for it. So, we need pillar. We need small white ones. Uh, well, medium sized white ones. Small, medium. Medium. All right. Yeah, well, uh, that's a small one. That one could be that. Smooth, smooth base. Yeah, let's do a smooth base. Smooth tar. Smooth cow. All right. We need big arches for the moment. Um, it's plaster. Plaster that I go right now. What stucco? Smooth on level. Okay. So we also need that smooth andesite. 
polished magenta for the floor tiles inch down inch, inch down no for floor tiles we want where was that one that I saw that's kind of a neat design on the top that is what we're going to do for the floor design so let's get out of this and um, yeah so we're going to do two of this and um, make sure this because it's just it's just kind of cool. So these buildings are kind of big, but they're going to be kind of small because the exteriors are really neat. And if I did the count right, which I wasn't counting, so who the, who the hell knows? Uh, They join different ways if they're placed different ways. Interesting. Okay, so we'll do it like this. Just gonna take me longer, not a problem. And then we will arch that around, arch that around. Let's see if they connect in different. Oop. That'll be fine. So how this is gonna work? This is the exterior. So it's bam, boom, boom, bada bing. So and then let's see, we want to do. I, I saw the picture. I know what I want. I want to see if this works. I don't know if it'll work. Can I do that? No. So we're going to drop this one down. One. We need to steal one of these. No, not that one. See one of these. Now I think that'll work all right. So two open spots. So when you look at this, you have arch, and then the interior wall is going to be back over here. There. So when you look at this, that's what it's going to look like, okay? So let me put the rest of these in, if I counted it right. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like, okay? And we'll close the door right here. And um, almost fall off. So this top part up here, we finish this all up. It's going to be second floor with the balcony all the way around it, which should look really cool. So let me fill in a few more pieces. And then I'll show it to you, okay? Oh, now I'll just talk to you. So we're gonna do uh, balconies one wide all the way around. It's gonna end up being two, but we'll use this gray stone Like thus, all the way around it. It's positional. What does that look on the guy? Is it same on the bottom? Yeah, okay, that looks cool. So, you'll have that. Oh, no, it does that. Okay, no, we can't use that. We're going to have to use a tile. So I didn't think about that. I'm only having this. And that's, but that's fine. I think that'll be fine. Um, so let me do some of that. Let me work on the second floor and I'll come back. 
It's just got really kind of a cool tile pattern to it as well. And uh, so we bring that all the way around. So if we do the wall in that same tile pattern, there's the floor joist below. I think that'll look alright. So let's take a look. Yeah, 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 I like it. Um Alright. Sorry. Okay, so hmm. Alright. So yeah, that'll work. And then, oh, which up here? See, that building's only going to be. So it's, it's a normal size building. It looks pretty big. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And then we just kind of do the rest of the same thing all the way around this thing. Um, we'll put every third, ting. One, two, three, ting. And one, one. And one, one, and back over here, one, and one, and then zip over here, one, and come on, one, one, and one, and then we put a wall in. All right, yeah, so that looks pretty good. And then we just follow that all the way around. I'm gonna probably have to do something. A little different on these walls, just to add a little texture to them. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but one, two, three, four. And if you see the motif we're going with, this is going to kind of be tied into the chapel building. Uh, it's going to be similar too, but it's not going to be exactly like. All right, so there's our second floor, and we will probably do the same kind of roof tile all the way around it, because I think what I want to do, and I'm going to try it out right here, live, on camera. Uh, not really, because we're, we're filming this. Because um, like the, the building itself is not going to be bigger than this. So instead of that, we're going to grab this, and because it's got a nice texture to it. Bam, bam, ba ding. Once again, ties back into our main building here. Uh, and let's take a look at it. We want to take this corner post out, drop in a column there. Now let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Bam. Right, yeah. Who is it? It's an emerald that does it. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, center mass. Let me jump back over here and take a look at it. Yeah. I suppose we could put one up. We could put one up every block every pillar, but I kind of like that, how it breaks it down into, into a smaller one. So if that is the case, I will have this balcony, yeah, let's bring this balcony around, although this will be the top floor, or this will be the, um, and then we're going to add uh, I'm thinking as I do. So kind of bear with me. So we go there. We're using the Parthenon style top. Do that. Does that look alright? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um, mm, yeah, I'll just 
pull this back. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I think the only thing I don't like about it is um, two things. Um, I don't like that wall, I guess, now that I look at it from here. Um, so let me think about that for a minute. But yeah, I think I shall look okay to start with for the chapter house, and then we'll bring it around this L. I do like these little guys. Okay, so, yeah, this will look okay. Now, this is a pretty narrow. So maybe I'll bring this out another block. It's only two wide. Three wide would make more sense, wouldn't it? So we bring that to there. That would make it a little more usable space, and then bring this out another block with our floor. Once again, the mind sees things. And goes now, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh no, that's not right. So I always take a look at it from way up. Oh, see, see it right away. So yeah, that's going to look a lot better. Um, and these can be offices or, or guest quarters or whatever you want to call it. So let me throw some some stuff down and then we'll be back.